right you were in the federal office and you know institute and then um, how was it there in terms of the research from the university can you just because for the viewers as well how yeah. is it differentiated between an university research setting and and uh, research institutions like the federal ones yeah uh, the 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 office which i was in karlsruhe and also the one which i'm here they are fundamentally different than the research which is being done at the university because everything we do in this office um has the application in mind right it is much more closer to the application uh, to the in the real world than it is at the university university you can do also theoretical things which are probably sometimes uh, like way to futuristic or way to uh computationally intensive so that they don't have at uh, at present a real chance of being applied to practical problems but uh for us the practical problem drives the research and that is at the, the basic because whatever you do any idea you come up with you should be able to um transfer that to some kind of application in the real world so that is the that's a different in university it's not always the case right you you pick a topic and then you you try three or four approaches and then um you just uh, yeah see what is which approach works well and then try to find the limits of that that approaches that itself is a, a huge um wealth of knowledge which you get but doesn't mean that all of that is can be necessarily applied into in the real world yeah so here it's the other way around the application drives uh, the research so right so um you worked there and you started in that office then how did it go um how did you let's say made your transition or uh, what was that something you thought okay how i move next yeah the the in kalsurve i was doing research uh, with the uh, um, uh, in a method for which i was not um, rigorously trained in my masters and it worked it was more like kind of um, fundamental research right more like a feasibility whether this method will work if it works what kind of problems can we solve and which practical scenarios do we hope to um, um be able to calculate with this method and such things and then um it was also because that kind of research requires like a real close collaboration with the university and also um, right and which was at that point not so uh, closely networked with the university but then i when i found when i was just looking for uh, i mean i had to move to uh, was looking to move to northern germany for uh, other like personal reasons but when i was doing that then i found this uh, group for my current job and then their research profile the methods they use all come from the same school i went to in stuttgart because it's all linked because my professor was also in at the library university long ago and that is where he did his phd and uh, he moved to stuttgart and he did his habilitation there and became a professor so we all come from the same school so i felt that i fit well here and then I, when i applied the job applied for the job and then i got the in the interview i also noticed that okay yeah okay this is this could uh, be something and uh, yeah when i got the job i was also uh, was very happy to know that i could also be in touch with my professor or try to see if there could be some collaboration which can be done and such things so you you still are in touch with the university and you are you are in collaboration sometimes you do research projects together sometimes um, they 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 are in a 
role of a contractor doing some work. So it's always tightly bound with the university and the research. But the whenever but but any collaboration has to have the application as a focus. That is that is the so. Um, so I think um, to understand you better, of course, we will come back to understand a bit better on your current research institute, what it does and also the other part. When I tell, um, as a focus, you always had a focus at, let's say, after, your, after you started your master's. You are clear that this is mm -hmm. the topic, probably not very fine detail, but somehow broadly you knew this is something I want to work for my future work. And that's my life. I just, if I move into research yeah. and I work on it, this is what I really want to. That's something you kind of programmed in your mind. Yeah, because it, it was all decided on uh, which uh, topics I found really interesting. Then for me, from my second semester, modeling in porous media was my topic. I mean, that was what uh, attracted me a lot. So I always wanted to stay in modeling in porous media. And also uh, when I went to Karlsruhe, it was still the same topic. And now in Hanover, it is still the same uh, topic. Just the applications differ, the methods you use are used differ and sometimes the scales differ or yeah right but in the end it's still modeling in porous media that is what i wanted to do since my second semester and uh, that that is was always on my mind when i was also searching for a job or searching for my second job so why i'm asking is this also for many young students who are also you know studying and who also want to say where they want to go so you are, from your experience, your suggestion would be keep the focus and um, do not take things because you just have some job, but even if it is going to be a challenge for some time, but continue to look for what you want. Yeah, I, what I tell the students I have met is when you come to Germany, don't that this is what I know. This is what most many people do uh, that when as soon as they come they start searching for a heavy job i say don't do it focus on studies because your first salary will be many times more than uh, than a heavy salary and that to to be able to get that you need good grades and uh, if you like tire yourself out such uh, shifting between jobs and studies during your student life you might not be in a position to get the best grade possible. Right? That is, I always emphasize this part, don't be hellbent on getting a job as soon as you land in Germany. I mean, a student job, right? But many people immediately yeah. apply to like many different student jobs and, and uh, yeah, because I can imagine it's, I also worked in my third semester uh, student job, but, uh, yeah, because it firstly takes a lot of your energy, which you could have used to focus on your academics. That would that is my as has always been my message. Right. 